in previous session we have seen a type of levers and in that we have developed the equations we also seen the mechanical advantage and leverage effect now we'll have to learn about the another type of lever that we called as a bell crank lever before that i told you the structure as i have drawn here you can see type number 1 this is type 1 type 2 and type 3 so each type has having some examples some notations some applications are there so i have drawn here this is which type of lever you can tell me this is type 1 type 1 and i told you type 1 indicate L1 is greater than L2 therefore mechanical advantage is greater than 1 so these are the two condition in addition to that we have developed the equation r is equal to f plus p for type 1 now where it use basically it can be used in a bell crank lever of signal mechanism railway signal mechanism such kind of leverage arrangement is there in case of hand pump hand pump also because it is having lever and some support is there which at this and effort done by the manual person that is in case of hand pump so these are the application i'll write hand pump it is also used in signal mechanism correct now here i told you how to write the equation and all that so such kind of the structure is there now we are going to learn about the fulcrum pin which we have shown by the capital r clear now we'll go toward the this is type 2 why f is at a center that is load arm at a center with respect to this i can see l1 is greater than l2 so mechanical advantage also greater than 1 clear and i will have to write the equation f is equal to r plus p clear an example of this type of lever is lever loaded safety valve we have seen in second year boiler mountings that is lever loaded safety valve lever loaded safety valves where it use lever loaded see f is steam pressure due to this opening is there in case of cooker also we will have to use this type 2 lever clear and another type i will have to introduce here this is bell crank lever bell crank bell crank so in case of bell crank what happened see here theta so lever will be move in a particular angle you can see this will be the l1 effort arm with respect to effort this is l2 load arm it has having some angle that is theta therefore this i will have to calculate that is resultant occur or reaction force develop in a bell crank lever is equal to square root of f square plus p square minus 2 pf cos of theta so this will be the indication for the calculation of the bell crank lever when theta is equal to we'll have to consider it is 90 degree both load arm and effort arm with respect to that it has 90 degree then cos theta is equal to 0 cos 90 is 0 therefore r equation would be r is equal to square root of p square plus f square or f square plus p square is that clear if they have mentioned the theta value we we'll have to put and minus 2 pf into cos of whatever be the value we we'll have to consider so through which we we'll have to calculate the reaction force occur in a fulcrum pin clear so i hope uh, you will get idea about this and we'll have to solve more numerical more understanding about the fulcrum pin is remain so in upcoming session i'll tell you what is fulcrum pin how it can be designed and what parameter we'll have to consider which is situated at a center which is very important because it will convey the motion from one end to another end very easily with the help of fulcrum pin only clear i hope you understood this thank you